hello, hello. Let's have a quick look. What is 2019, the year 2019, going to be like for the United States? Land of mom and apple pie, as if they don't have those anywhere else. No, but seriously. Stars and stripes. Great plains. Beautiful mountains. Sea to shining sea. The energy is pretty good, but I am getting, understandably, I'm getting natural disasters. People like holding on to things as things are shaking or the wind's blowing things, but they hold on for a while and then it eventually stops and then they rebuild. And really at best, it, it's, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. Obviously, there are going to be some people who are hurt or worse, but it's mostly just frustrating and frustration with the government that they didn't do things about, they didn't take the initiative about climate change. There's going to be, there's going to be a, a lot of talk next year. It almost feels like the, the color for the year is going to be green because the, just all the natural disasters they are very sick of all the denials and the way the Republicans were protecting Trump. Yeah. What comes into my head is the fall of the House of Trump. That's 2019. That's going to be the theme of 2019. Is the fall of the House of Trump and everyone associated with him in excruciating detail. Gosh, I might have to find something else to read on. A lot more youth activism, actually. This is young people turning away, this being offered the usual, saying, no. Yeah, this is, this is more youth activism, more young people getting involved, caring about the future, caring about the environment. Having the Democrats in place actually, I know it sounds self-serving, but having the Democrats in place actually is going to cause some, some well, less harm and possibly setting up for some future time when they can really start passing legislation to help the opioid crisis because it's the government. Maybe even a little bit of infrastructure work. It is amazing what we would get excited about at this point. It's going to be a year of steady work. It's not perfect. This doesn't feel like it's overgrown or best year ever, but it's just steady work and it's better than it is in other places, at least from our perspective. I'm getting drawn to the green again. This feels like, this really feels like the opioid crisis, something being done about that a little bit. But environment, 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 it just keeps, that feeling just keeps coming. Home environment, caring about what we do and how it impacts the world, and cleaning up as much of this mess as possible. It's a lot of work, slogging through paperwork, daily grind, trying to clean up the past, clean out the corruption, you know, like after a hurricanes come through and then you've got to go in and even if the damage isn't too bad, you still have to go find the trash bags and you fill them up. Okay, that's not good. You just rip it out and just steady, work your way through it. We're, fe we're fearing that the court cases are never going to end. 
there's so many of them from so many different directions, month after month after month of people going after everything from who stayed at the Trump Tower to who talked to, I mean, it, it, it's just unending. It's like, oh, another one? Okay, another one, yay. But we'll be happier. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to be cleaning out. We're going to be cleaning up. It's going to be a year of cleaning up. Cleaning up mess. But in a, in a kind of we're in this together, work your way through it kind of way. But other people see, I think it was in 87, the movie Wall Street came out where you had the character Gordon Gecko say, greed is good. And that is very much how the world has seen the United States of America for a long time. And what this says is that the world is going to see almost like, what, that, wait a minute, what do you mean that's not, they're not only after the gold, they're not only after being rich. What do you mean they want something other than that? They're Americans, how could they want the, something other than that? It's all they care about. Well, this is us walking away from it to, to take care of some other things as well. We'll do, take care of this nicely. It's a very practical, uh, it's also very nice, but it's it's just a, a regular work a day. But eventually, us us rejoining the world once Trump is gone, because it feels like Trump is gone, and and we do rejoin the world uh, more reasonably. And and foreigners actually being happy to see us, and it isn't that our new leaders are perfect or we're perfect. But just it's such an improvement, being reasonable, being human, being able to trust that, yeah, we, we said we're going to do that, and, and then we actually do it. I mean, at that point, the, the rest of the world would be like, wow. Temperance, yeah, just calm, steady, working through, strength. She's not wrenching, she's not like slamming his, his, his lion's jaws together. It's just a very gentle, slowly, steady, so... It feels actually quite good, maybe a little dull, but at this point, we could, you know, dull would be good, wouldn't it? The, this, it's all going to, it's going to go back, you know, when history looks back at this time, it's going to be, 2019 is going to be about fall of the House of Trump. But everything else around it is going to be... That's the feeling of a, of a community project. We're going to go to that abandoned. It's like the whole country is going to an abandoned lot and get it, pulling out the litter and raking up anything dangerous. And, you know, it's not, and what they're left with isn't perfect, but it's not dangerous anymore. And it's safe. And, and in coming years in the future, good things can happen there. So that's, that's what I've got for the United States of America in 2019. And maybe, maybe we'll live longer because I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know how much damage many more years of this would have done to us. It's been very, very stressful. Thank you for stating the obvious. <laughs> All right. But thank you for watching.